Hi there, welcome to my views and news. Three news stories. Firstly, a far Somali clashes. Day two of these clashes. This is the fourth time this year that clashes have erupted between Afars and Somalis. What is happening? Somalis are advancing towards uh, a village, reportedly. Secondly, uh, Machio. Machio town, Tegarai region, where a discussion forum was held yesterday. Hundreds of uh, Participants were there. Key issues were discussed about Rai, obviously, and other parts of Southern Zone. Uh, thirdly, pamphlets are being dropped in Gondar by unknown people. Pamphlets have been found in neighborhoods. What are these pamphlets about? Is Fano sending a message to the people of Gondar city? What is this message about? Firstly, we was a far Somali clashes. Since I started covering Ethiopia four years ago, I have seen so many rounds of fighting between Afars and Somali that I have lost count of these engagements. Every year, twice, thrice, or even four or five times, they, they fight. They kill each other, fighting over territories, over. Uh, lands despite intervention uh, by several players peace lasting peace could not be achieved if you remember last year ethiopian national defense force mediated between afars and somalis a high level committee was established nothing happened then this year ethiopian islamic affairs supreme council intervened Muslim organization, both regions are Muslim, majority regions. In Addis Ababa, Islamic Affairs Supreme Council invited both parties. Discussions were held. A committee was formed with participation of both sides. But after the intervention of Ethiopian Islamic Affairs Supreme Council, we have seen two rounds of fighting. It means Islamic Affairs Supreme Council's intervention failed. How many players are there in this conflict? Obviously, local Afars, local Somalis, Afar Somali militias, Afar Somali regional forces, Afar Somali regional governments. Somalis accuse Ethiopian National Defense Force that, that it is supporting Afars. Afar say that uh, Somalis get support from Djibouti, that Somali Issa government of Djibouti supports Somali Issa Somali region of Ethiopia. Uh, Somalis accuse uh, Afar fighters to Gugumo fighters that they are supporting uh, Afars. Somalis accuse Afars. So many players, and whenever there is fighting in Ethiopia, Afars, and Somalia, we see its repercussions, its consequences in Djibouti. Their attacks intensify then on Afars. This latest round of fighting began around 48 hours ago. Again, fighting is over land, over territories. Somalis are reporting that they have captured a uh, place of Fodi Wain. And they say that Fodi Wain is close to their target. Adati is their target. They want to recapture Adati. I think Adati uh, was taken over. Uh, uh, Somalis want to recapture Dati. Dati, it means, is under far control, and uh, for the when is very close to Dati. Somalis say that maybe by today they'll be able to capture uh, Dati. How long will they remain in control of Dati? I mean, uh, then Afars will fight back, it will go on. Garbai say, and Dofo, Dati, these are the places which are contested by the two parties. More than a decade ago, a decision was made by EPRDF about the status of these places. And for the time being, the matter was solved, but later we saw that this issue was never resolved. Why can't a far regional government, uh, Somali regional government, Ethiopian military uh, sit? And they just uh, resolve the issue. 
if the issue is not resolved at least declare this zone the area no entry zone endf can be deployed there at least save the lives of people who are fighting who are the victim of this fighting but there should be some sort of solution. I'm just saying that that if the two parties cannot agree, ENDF can take control of the areas. Both parties can be expelled for the time being, at least. But ENDF does not seem to be interested. Uh, and how, on how many fronts will ENDF fight internally? Already, ENDF is badly uh, entangled in the Mahara region. Secondly, viewers. Tagarai has held a discussion in Machu Raya. Participants attended to around 1,000 people attended this conference held in Machu. Some key issues were discussed. Issues of southern zone. And I would say that now Raya is part of southern zone too because Tagarai fighters have largely expanded their control. They are in control of large parts of Raya. Two main issues were discussed. Private arms. People are armed. Uh, how to resolve this issue? Uh, it's a very important issue, by the way, in Tagarai, that people are armed. They were armed during Tagarai war. No, uh, they're not being disarmed. They're selling arms. Uh, and if they have arms and they don't have jobs, they don't have business, they can commit crimes too. Secondly, Land grabbing, another very important issue in Tigray is land grabbing that uh, people return uh, to their homes after uh, war and then land grabbing intensified. Thirdly, investment, uh, relations with the farmer. It's a very key point because we saw fighting with the farmers and uh, Tigrayans a few days ago, some Tigrayans were killed. Then fighting broke out between the Fars and Tegarai fighters, and again lost on both sides. Later, elders intervened. Uh, attacks by Amhara militia members were also discussed. So, uh, another main point was discussed about the it was about the establishment of in, uh, establishment of administration in Raya. Tegarai making preparations to install its administrative structure in Raya. Seems. Lastly, we heard uh, Fano groups are uh, leaving pamphlets in neighborhoods in Gondar. It seems they are Fano fighters. Pamphlets with a message for the people of Gondar city. Fano groups say through these pamphlets that they have surrounded Gondar city. Anytime they can enter go on the city before that people and when they enter they'll be here for some time uh, That is why people should prepare themselves They should buy food. They should store food because conflict could start in go the city This is not the first time that Fano groups or pro Fano elements have uh, sent a message to the people of Gondar through these pamphlets. They did the same too last year too, I think, but they could not enter Gondar city. They got out some attacks in, in one part of the city. But they could not uh, manage large-scale entry in Gondar. Let's see. But uh, fighting is definitely drawing close to Gondar city. Because North and South Gondar both are fighting now. South Gondar is implementing uh, vehicle ban, transport ban on heavy vehicle. North Gondar Fano is definitely active now as well. That is why Fano groups could make a move towards Gondar city, maybe for uh, surgical uh, limited operation. 